Okay, let's talk about content creation, the actual good stuff of, well, how do we prep, you know, for this content and uh, uh, get, you know, organized around actually creating what we're gonna say and why inside the video. So this little sheet, I call it a, a content prep. Don't worry, I'm gonna zoom in. It is one page, I'm attached in the course. It's a Word document. Listen, I've been using this for the last seven years. So every single video, my company's ever created with any subject matter expert or anything, this is the sheet that we use. Because videos can get extremely complicated and people talk about storyboards and all this other stuff and that's why videos don't get done. So this is to a simple one pager to keep you focused on why are you doing the video, what to talk about and make sure it resonates with that audience. Remember we talked about that at the beginning. It's super important about the content resonates. So this is that filter. This is that one kind of sheet. So I'm going to zoom in here. All right. So here is, and feel free to adjust this as you see fit. And if you do any kind of content or marketing, this will be relatively similar um, uh, to that. But what I highly, highly recommend is if you're doing uh, a video that's two to three minutes long, or even a five to eight minute training video, that this sheet doesn't grow past a page. People have a tendency to start writing, to start scripting. And I personally do not like the word script. I use it because everybody uses it. How do you script a video? Well, listen, we're not in Hollywood. We do not script. I'm not looking at a teleprompter right now. I didn't sit down and write out all this content and memorize it and I'm kind of reading it word for word. No, that is for actors and also creates absolutely crappy performances because we business people are not actors, right? We just naturally talk about the stuff we love to talk about or our subject matter experts of, but we do not need to memorize it. So as soon as you start writing down, like we have copy in the business world or starting to writing something, your brain thinks, well, that's really good. I should memorize that and I should deliver that. If you do that, it's gonna take forever and the video is gonna look like crap. It always does. That's why I got talking head got a bad rap because of that experience of people trying to memorize it. So yes, you need to be organized and that's what we're doing it. And this sheet is designed to actually focus you. So you're not deviating from the goal and the topic and the, and the title of the video, right? You want to stay on track because remember that graph that we talked about earlier on, in the lessons, right? People disengage. So we want to make sure it's all aligned for that quality of content to come out. So number one is the goal of the video. We talked about that. What is the goal? Why are you doing it? Is it going on a website? Is it going on an email, right? Is it going on social? It's going all of the above. That's fine. But why should also people watch it, right? So how is it going to be used and what the goal of the video is? Those are a couple things that you do. Now, yes, as you start creating more and more videos on it, these will have you know similarities to them, but always keep that in mind is how are you gonna use it? For example, if you're creating a video that's gonna be used at an event, well, you gotta think about it. If you're gonna, hey, I wanna use a creative video that's gonna be at an event, it's gonna be at a booth, at a trade show. Well, guess what? Trade shows are really noisy. So does it gonna matter to put some music in the background or some soft voices? No, it needs to move and show some different stuff. So you have to be cautious of how are you gonna use that video. If it's gonna go on social, like for example, on Facebook, etc., that's got the audience that's more of a, an event, like it's got a more of a personal feel, like if it's your Facebook of your company, well, it makes sense to put videos out there that are kind of the fun stuff, that show the culture of your company, for example, right? And not necessarily the more technical stuff that could go on a specific technical YouTube channel. So it's also just think about it, how are you gonna use it and what is the intended goal of the video? All right, so when we move to this one is what is the topic or the title of the video? A lot of people do this and say, hey, we're just gonna create a video for our company. Great, what's it about, <laughs> right? What, why should people care? Um, it's the same thing as when you're gonna create a, uh, you know, presentations, like I'm gonna create a presentation. Okay, for, for who, right? How, why should people care? So you wanna create this, what is the title of the video? And I always recommend telling companies is when you're gonna work on the title of the video, I would spend 50% of your time during the content prep is working on that title. Here's why. When you send out that video, guess what? People need to take two steps before they even get to look inside the video. 
Number one is they gotta look at the title of the video. It doesn't matter if it's a YouTube, if it's something on a social channel, right? They need to look at the title of the video that's gonna capture the attention. We look at the movie. The second one is the click to play image. A movie, it's a movie cover, right? Same kind of thing. You have the cover of the, uh, of the movie, a click to play image, and we'll talk about that, is also a vital importance of it. So those are two steps before they even actually get to the video itself. And this is a lot of time companies make a massive mistake. When they title the video, they'll go, you know, company X, Y, and Z video. Like who, what is that? It doesn't tell me anything. It has to tell you uh, about it. We'll talk about more about what makes a good title, you know, capture titles, and there's a lot of tools uh, that we can talk about. But title is very, very important. And it also allows you to put, as soon as you put a specific title in there, um, it allows you to actually be able to stay focused on it. All right, so let me put a title uh, in there right now. All right, magically, edit that out and we have a top three reasons not to use a teleprompter when shooting a video. Top reasons not to use a teleprompter. Maybe I should say top three reasons why not to use a teleprompter when shooting a video. Let me, let me do that. Top three reasons why not to use a teleprompter when shooting a video. I personally am a, an immigrant kid terrible speller and a grammatical person grammatical person that's why I'm in video that's why I love video but finesse and there's a lot of great tools you can use but I love things like top three reasons how why look if you click on this title you know without knowing the video what that video is going to be about and that is the key you know component of it so let's actually go to top reasons now second one here down here is I'm going to describe who is the target audiences, right? Who's the target audience that I'm gonna go after? Now, a lot of people say, okay, especially in the business world, I'm gonna go after the C-suites, right? The people that make the decisions. Granted, that's great. But there's a massive difference between like a chief financial officer and let's say a chief marketing officer. They're drastically different people. And so a lot of the times people in business make unfortunate mistake they're like i just want to create a video for everyone well that doesn't does work it's okay to be specific remember you're going to try to create a bunch of videos so if you create a video that's specific for you know a technologist for example it's got more technical stuff and then you speak to somebody who's more financially oriented uh, but the content like 80 percent of it is the same but there's just those slight nuances that really resonate with those two individuals it's actually highly beneficial for you to create those two pieces of content um, separately okay